Hello, this is Patrick Botticelli with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. This is a special Air Forums edition of the YouTube walkthrough video. Today I wanted to show you the all new 2017 Airstream International Signature 23D. Some of the more exciting things that Airstream did for improvements for this model year it is now standard on a, a 23D and 23FB or the 225-75R15 load range D Goodyear Marathon tires. The hubs now are the Never Lube hubs and they upgraded the brakes from 10 inch to 12 inch. You also notice too the bottom trim here is black versus pewter and we have the bifold aluminum entry step. Let's flip the top down here. That's standard on all 23 and up internationals flying clouds. The 19 foot uh, model will have uh, a Thule aluminum step versus the steel step and the Sport will still have the steel step. You can see here the frame up front is also black versus pewter. Just makes it a little bit easier for an Airstream owner to touch up their frame with standard paint they could buy at a hardware store versus the special pewter color that Airstream uses. This uh, trailer is already set up with the equalizer hitch system. This is an aftermarket accessory that the customer that owns this trailer decided to put on. Airstream also added the ZAMP solar plug. There's a quick disconnect that hooks up to your batteries here so you can put a portable panel, plug and play. So all you have to do is buy the ZAMP portable panel kit, plug it right in, you're ready to go. This is also equipped with the optional window awning package, very popular, zip -dees, awning, all sunbrella material, aluminum arms, aluminum hardware riveted into the frame structure. It's very durable material for outdoor use. Look at these big tinted 30 inch wide windows. They're awning style windows that come out. It says extruded aluminum gutter rail over the top of the window. You can see underneath the trailer. It's completely enclosed in aluminum. Tanks are heated. It's standard on all Airstream trailer trailers to make today. And it's insulated. Also equip this trailer with the optional bike rack. This is a dealer installed option that you can put on. It still allows you to get to the rear bumper storage. Still lift it, I can still get in. And I can still get to the rear trunk. Makes life a little bit easier if you just fold the carrier down. Obviously if the bikes are on, it's gonna be a little bit more challenging to load and, and unload the rear trunk. Gonna open up the rear hatch here. It's lockable, insulated, weather sealed. New power cord end. This is just an improvement. Makes it a little bit easier for a customer to unplug their trailer at the campground. And it has an LED light that'll illuminate to let you know you have power coming into the trailer. This rear trunk has diamond plating inside, has access to your low point drains and even has a light here off to the side, LED light. And see how when it's closed, when you push down a lock, it actually squeezes it tight, so you don't have to worry about any water getting into that compartment. Beautiful international medallion on the back of the trailer. Above it is extruded aluminum belt line protection that protects that center seam of the trailer. Got a license plate bracket. Cast aluminum taillight housings. It's all beautiful. Look at the fine tooling here on the edge. LED taillights. Polished aluminum rear bumper. Has bumper caps and ends so if you go to pull a power cord by you don't have to worry about fraying the end of the power cord on sharp metal. This is equipped also with the optional backup camera, which comes with 
a monitor for inside your vehicle. It's a wireless monitor. Up on the roof of the trailer now, we have a, a solar port that allows us to hook up the ZAMP solar panels for roof install. It's a little bit easier than drilling a few holes in the roof. You still need the hardware, you still need the controller and the display, but just takes one step away from the technicians when doing aftermarket installs. Let's take a look inside this trailer. Interior decor on an international signature is going to stay the same for 2017. We have here the Oyster Ultra Leather, but it's also available in Espresso, which is a color very similar to the Ebony Cabinet color. And the Salsa, which is a, a reddish tone. It's extremely popular right now. One of the improvements in the bedroom. They refined, this had roller shades in the bedroom next to the bed. They refined it with an actual curtain mechanism. This unsnaps, slides back, and then it has these little straps here. You can Velcro. And when you roll over in bed, you don't have to worry about unraveling the roller shade and having that pop up in the middle of the night. Also, too, all the curtains were improved for 2017. They now have a black outlining, so when you close them, you don't get that much light through as you did in previous model years. Systems all stayed pretty much the same. You have LED lights inside the trailer. They're all dimmable for the ceiling lights. You do have access, accent lights inside the cabinets here. Subwoofer underneath the dinette. Storage here. This is uh, some of the stuff that came with this trailer, but this is the optional Voy Voyager digital wireless LCD monitor for the backup camera. Look at that beautiful faucet. This is, uh, this is residential quality, growy faucet. This is all metal. So there's no plastic. This is built to last a very, very long time. I know a lot of RVs, for cost reasons, they use a plastic faucet, but this has a very high duty cycle. Recently, Airstream added a lot of key hooks and hooks inside the trailer to allow you to hang additional items that you're gonna bring with you. Excellent, thick, st stainless steel sink. Don't have to worry about it if you uh, pot or pan slips out of your hand and dent in the bottom. They're very robust. This little sink cover, some people use it as a cutting board as well. There's storage below the sink. Got a waste pail below the sink as well. And this is a good area. When I bring a customer into an Airstream trailer, and they, say, they assume maybe that this might be particle board because it's covered. I bring them over here and I show them the edge grain of plywood to show them that we have laminate on each side, not stickers. And you can see the pocket hole screw construction, which is very stable, very strong joint. Premium hardware. This cabinet latch is designed to really keep this door shut when you're towing. On the bottom here, they put a piece of uh, aluminum as a tow kick. There's storage here below the oven. This is all premium hardware as well. These are detachable hinges. And if you take the little caps off, you could adjust it. If the cabinet was ever at a square, you could make minor adjustments there. Very spacious oven. This is a gas oven. Standard on this model. Also standard is a microwave on a 23D. But Colonial likes to upgrade it to a higher grade microwave that also has convection built into it. So literally, it is a electric convection oven, but also is a microwave. You decide which mode you want to put it on. This lounge slides out. It makes it to a bed for two adults. There's storage below. You have a battery converter charger, which converts AC to DC, charges your battery. Has all your fuses and breakers. 
the bottom portion is the charger portion so there's a fan that will kick on periodically to cool that compartment propane leak detector down here on the ground refrigerator is five cubic foot on this model with freezer above this is cut out here purposely for a taller container and it's an automatic two-way runs on gas or electric you just turn it on it's on automatic right now it was checking to see if we're plugged into electricity it's going to determine that we are not plugged into electricity and it's automatically going to switch to gas if it misfires on a gas, which it will because we do not have gas in this trailer currently, the check light will come on and stay on. You could also manually run it on gas if you decided not to use electricity. These are the windows we saw from the outside, but the inside view of them. Television, you could undo, bring it out at different angles, but you could also swing it around so you could view it from the bedroom. And this is hooked up to the Blu-ray player that comes standard that's in the front cabinet. This plays CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. You have USB charge ports next to it. You have a USB input for your stereo, which plays CDs as well. This trailer comes standard with a 1000 watt inverter system. So there's an inverter outlet you can switch your Blu-ray player so you can run it off the battery system temporarily. There's an inverter outlet under the dinette. There's an inverter outlet next to the television. You have a wardrobe at the foot of the bed. Colonial includes with every purchase an RV starter kit with a lot of the hoses, adapters, accessories you'll need get going for the first time. This wardrobe has a light inside of it, it's LED. We have a kitchen pantry, comes with the silver organizer. Another pantry storage. You decide, you decide what you want to put in this compartment here. You utilize it for kitchen or bedroom items. Cooktop ventilation system with lights. There's a vent on the outside you could open. Reburner cooktop. I know I'm jumping around here. I'm just very excited today. There's a new 2017 just got in. I wanted to get the video. This one's actually already pre-sold. But I wanted to get this online before they whisk it away to get it to prep. Heavy duty cooktop grates here. Inverter control. You can operate your water pump from here. You can check your battery level, your fresh water. This actually is full of water. It's ready to go. Gray waste and black waste, all from this monitor panel right here. This little cutout here is for the furnace. You have a storage compartment here below the lounge. And if you lift up this cushion, there's little access hatches for some of the electronic controls for maintenance. Two speakers below the roof locker in the front. Subwoof we saw earlier. This trailer has ducted air, which was a new feature for the 23D for 2015. Well, it's carried over to the 2017 model year. Such a huge success last year. These are directional. You could shut off individual item uh, vents if you wanted to. Fantastic fan in the galley. Comes standard with one in the bedroom as well. These fantastic fans have motorized lids, rain sensors, variable speed controls. Detachable screen so you can clean the blades off. And they are exhaust only. Skylight in the galley with shade. These are intakes for the air conditioning. The bed has storage below. Comes with the little storage containers when you buy one new. Pillow top, memory foam mattress. This is 48 inches wide by 76 inches long. Roof locker over the bed, as well as the other roof lockers are very deep. And they're backlit. You have a reading light over the bed. Two more speakers, little magazine rack, porthole for the bathroom door to allow some light inside. We have another wardrobe here. This is the little tool to operate the awning outside. 
There's an access hatch here to get to the water pump for winterization. See, Airstream is smart because they put the hardwood here, so a technician, all I have to do is pop it open, they could get to it. Some other RVs, well, to get the water pump, you got to take the whole wardrobe apart or some furniture pieces apart just to get to it. So that's additional labor that's going to cost you if you need to repair or winterization maintenance. Privacy curtain. Separates this area from the living area, so if you needed to get dressed in this area, you can do so. And the privacy curtains are different colors depending on which interior decor you get. So this is the international signature decor. If you got the flying cloud, which would have the gold alchemy, it would probably be a tan. And then there's also the International Serenity. It has a high gloss white finish, so the privacy curtain would be colored accordingly. Another thick gauge stainless steel sink and designer faucet. Little medicine cabinet. More storage above. We have access to your GFCI reset for your electrical outlets. Gas and electric water heater controls. So you just pick which source you want on. The red light will come on only if the water heater misfires on propane. We have your bedroom ceiling light switch with dimmer. Then we have a bathroom light switch. We have a vanity switch. And we have your indirect switch in the rear cabinet. Carbon dioxide detector in the bedroom. Storage below the vanity. In the bathroom here we have a porcelain toilet with foot pedal flush. Furnished duct, so this area is heated. Little towel bar, toilet paper holder. And we have stacked porthole windows with an ocean air roller shade. Two piece, thick, heavy duty, fiberglass shower enclosure. It's two piece with a nice two inch overlap so you don't have to worry about water rolling behind or caulking maintenance. Mowing shower diverter. Detachable shower head with pause feature. There's also a drain plug so while you're in tow you don't uh, evacuate the water out of your P-trap and get tank odor inside the trailer. Roll away shower door clips in. This shower door, we've been using it since 1998. I know it sounds and looks flimsy. We have never replaced one yet. I've had one in stock in our parts department for a very, very long time. Haven't had the opportunity to sell it to someone. So that tells you something, that people are not breaking these. When you roll it back, it's got a squeegee belt into it that rolls all the water off the shower curtain and runs it down the drain. And there's a little seat ledge inside the shower here. So I'm inside right now. You can see how much room I have left to take a proper shower. There's also a clothesline in the shower. Bring this across. Clips in. And you just dial it in, lock it in place where you need it. And this is good for drying bathing suits or light items. I wouldn't recommend putting heavy towels on it. That's not what its intention is. And this pops up, push the button, and that will allow you to evacuate stale air and moisture from the bathroom. And for high capacity, this area is left open, so you could use the fantastic fan to bring a higher volume of air out of the shower. So if you're one that likes a very, very hot shower, well, I would recommend using this fan versus the fan that's over here. Smoke detectors in the galley. All the windows are safety glass. Fire extinguishers by the entry door. And then this little cutout here, well, that's to store your shoes, right, when you come in. And it comes with a beautiful welcome mat here. You have an electrical outlet right by the entry door. These little cubbies here that open up to gain access to the storage behind. I've seen many Airstreams throughout the years come through the dealership. I've been working with Airstream for 14 years now. I do love the 23D floor plan. I love the big open front here. So as long as you're okay with the little bit smaller bed and a little bit smaller toilet area, 
Uh, this floor plan is very spacious. A lot of people aren't out in the market looking for a full-size SUV or full-size pickup. They want to use a mid-size SUV or mid-size pickup. This trailer is perfect for that. Dry weight's about 4,800 pounds, and the maximum gross vehicle weight rating is 6,000 pounds. So it is towable with most mid-size SUVs and mid-size pickup trucks. This is Patrick with Colonial Airstream in Lakewood, New Jersey. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in this trailer for purchase, please call me at 1-800-265-9019. We always stock about 100 Airstreams, so come visit us at www.colonialairstream.com. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.